take a picture of this. Oh, hey guys. So, I built a house. You wanna see how it was all done? Let's give it a watch. Okay, here we go. We're getting very close to the end, guys. And with this part, um, I started making just all the leftover odds and ends pieces. I tried to make every little piece that I could find that do doesn't include the house part. So we're starting with the lights. Um, there's quite a few of them. So basically it's just gluing the base onto the light and letting it dry. This was the only oddball light. I believe this is, goes in the garden somewhere. And it's just a piece of paper rolled up into a tube. And then you glue it and stick it into the little bead. I noticed there was a rug for the living room. I totally would have made this when I made the living room set, but that's okay. We can do it now. It's super easy. You're basically going to um, cut out the little design that's a piece of paper, and then you're going to uh, cut out the linen piece and stick them together. And then I later on, I fringed it on the end so that um, it will have little fringies all the way around the edges.
this little bridge, I went through my kitchen and tried to find the perfect curved item for this little bridge to dry on. And I found one coffee cup that was just slightly smaller than the rest and it was a perfect uh, curve for this bridge. But um, you just cut out the piece of paper and then glue the paper to, see how it's just the right size? Um, glue the paper to the little wood pieces. I don't know how you would have done it without a handy little cup tool, but um, maybe your wrist, I don't know. And there's these little bitty stepping stones. Um, it's just little tiny wood tile pieces and then you glue these uh, stone looking pieces of paper on the top. Easy peasy. Of course squish everything with the brick. Next up we're gonna make a little teeny uh, step. It goes to one of the pavilions that we uh, made. I probably should have made it when I made the pavilion but that's okay. We'll make it now. It's just two pieces and uh, well actually three I guess. So it's two side pieces and a middle and you made a little stepping stool. This house of course has some stairs to get to the second story. Um, I started out trying to do it sideways, leaning on its side, and everything just went all wonky and fell apart. So I went the other way. There it goes. It's going to fall like dominoes. So I leaned it the other way and um, it worked much, much better. And I also used the grid on my cutting board to make sure it was straight. Now it's going to start getting interesting. We're building the platform. So it's got this uh, lake, I guess. Tell me that doesn't look like it should be a state. 
Which state do you think it should be? I don't know. <laughs> Taking the cover off of this plexiglass was not easy at all. It uh, came off in little tiny strips. I, I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do it, but I just peeled away at it forever and ever, it felt like. But uh, yeah, it's not as satisfying as taking the cover off of a brand new TV or something, but it worked out. And then I ended up cleaning it up t anyway too with some Windex just to make sure all the little pe bits and pieces came off. In the directions it had you cutting this out, but I decided to glue it on first, thinking it would be easier, eh, because you can kind of use the plexi as your uh, cutting guide, and it does work out. And also, this does not want to stick together, so even later on, right now, it's falling off. So I'm gonna have to use uh, some super glue, I think, and fix it up. And this is going to be the pattern for quite a while here. You're going to be cutting out the piece of paper and sticking them to the corresponding piece of wood.
And here we go for all the walls. Cut them out, stick them on. Cut them out, stick them on. And now we have all these windows. Um, someone asked if there was actual glass or anything for these windows. No, it's just kind of this frosted wax paper, I guess it would be. So it kind of imitates the rice paper screens, soji screens, I suppose. Um, but you just stick them on and wait for it to dry and cut them out.
and a couple of the windows get stuck into some of the walls. So And they fit perfectly in there. So you just kind of jam them in though. I put a little bit of re reinforcement of glue just to make sure they don't pop out. And um, you're good to go. With a big build like this, I like to do as much prep work as possible. That way at the end, all you just do is just bloop, 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 bloop. You just start building it up and it's easy. And we're, right here, we're just doing the roof and uh, you're gonna stick this onto the roofing tile. This didn't wanna stick, so you wanna be extra generous with the glue I found. And I let it glue, let it dry almost completely overnight just so it wouldn't pop up. I probably would have used, should have used um, super glue in hindsight. And now we got all our parts and pieces, bits and bobs, and uh, we're ready to start building up from the platform. And now we're going to pop our little uh, pond or lake that looks like Tennessee or North Carolina or something. <laughs> um, and we're going to stick it right in there. It, it, you can already see that it, that paper is starting to pop up. I'm going to reinforce it on the bottom with some tape or something, I think. starting to build the house we're gonna put some little feet that kind of go that it has kind of a little uh, pier or por porch that goes over the water so you have to put some little feet on there and then you're gonna literally build the house from the bottom on up
I originally thought I missed wallpapering a piece, but nope, you're specifically supposed to put this piece on at this moment because it overlaps the back um, piece of wood so that it's one solid piece. And this is a little box for the the power and the switch for all the lights. So eventually all the wires will go into this section. And this uh, little house came with a music box. I'm not sure what song it is, but I'll play, for, play it for you in the very end, I'm sure. And then you guys can all guess what the song is. <laughs> starting to take shape now we got to glue in the stairs you do have to follow the order and the steps of uh, what to put in next because um, you're gonna put the ins you're gonna work from the inside out so put everything in the middle and then you're gonna build the walls around it you'll see I kept thinking that putting this uh, little table at the end of the stairs was kind of a precocious little spot. <laughs> You're going to run right into it when you go down the stairs, but eh, it's a dollhouse.
And we got the living room all set up. And the little kitchen's all set up. On to the walls. When I put this wall in, I realized, huh, that's not fitting right. And it looks like I forgot one little black uh, side piece there. And ta-da, it fit. And one final view of everything inside before we start uh, closing it in. We'll be able to see it still, but not as well as we are right now. And now we're putting the railings up. And when I put these up, I noticed that one of these little pieces is just a millimeter shorter than the rest. Or actually two pieces were shorter. And then so I had to flip them around so they fit properly. It was interesting though, that, because uh, supposedly they're all the same size. And now we're gluing the living room lights to the ceiling of the living room or the floor. It would be underneath the floor of the bedroom. And you just follow the dotted lines, which is really handy dandy. And if you do everything right, it should all line up with the notches and the holes in the, uh, the boards that they provided. With this porch light, you're just going to glue it against the wall there and then feed it through the hole in the floor. And now let's build a bathroom. The easy way. And now we're going to feed the wires of the bedroom table lights uh, through the holes in the wall. And surprisingly, if we did everything right, everything lines up just right.
and we forgot to make some little curtains, but it's super easy. It's a square of cloth and you cinch it in the middle. I tied it, they said glue, but, um, and then glue it to the back wall there. We got last looks of the bedroom and the little bathroom before we put the lid on it. And we're going to uh, glue the lights on the roof pieces just how they say in the diagram. I did do it wrong the first time. but because uh, it didn't line up with these holes, they all make sense once you do it right. Once you put the roof on, you have this little uh, dowel that goes right down the middle for a finishing touch. Ta-da! We got it all together. It's hard to see in there without the lights all activated, but uh, it looks cool so far. And I think uh, we'll take a break and then we're going to work on the garden pretty soon. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we made a whole house. And uh, next up, looks like we need some gardening done. So I think we're gonna finish it next episode. Stay tuned.